A morning in the hospital. Sunlight strikes the room. A bright picture of a lady lying on the bed. The doctor walks in to check her health. Putting the stethoscope on her chest and checking on the little one lying on the bed. She walks to do more tests and assures the safety of the other patients as she attends to them. Following which, the medical officer ensures to have clean hands before contacting and touching another patient. These measures are important. A medical officer must take all precautions before contacting with patients as their life depends on the caretakers. Hospitals are the shrines of cleanliness. But with the past lining in high morbidity and mortality rates, the status of these hospitals and the faith of people started crushing. With contaminated water sources, bad sanitation, and inadequate and poorly maintained wash facilities. This lack of services compromised to provide first-class and safe services, such as child delivery and ability to prevent and control infections, resulting in the increasing rates of neonatal and maternal mortality. According to reports in India, out of the total neonatal deaths happening nationally, 40% of newborns and around 46% of maternal deaths occur on the day of birth itself. At any given time, over 1.4 million people worldwide suffer from infectious complications acquired in hospitals. There are various programs led by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Department to improve quality of the care, which includes Kayakalp, National Quality Assurance Standard, National Accreditation Board for Hospital and Healthcare Facilities, and National Accreditation Board for Laboratories. The medical officer should ensure the following steps to obtain the NQAS certificate. The medical officer must take these steps in order to obtain the NABH accreditation. From improvement in the healthcare facilities to quality services and clean drinking stations. The safety of the lives increase with a remarkable decrease in mortality rates. This increases the responsibility on the capable shoulders of the medical officers. The medical officers have to assign formal written responsibility to a fixed person for regular supervision and monitoring. Have supervised visits of the premises daily by the institute head and visiting officers and also include WASH related officials in the visit. The Government of Gujarat has initiated Swachta audits on every 6th of every month and inspect the facility. The survey form comprising of 25 questions is designed for the same. It is also monitored at the state level. To strengthen supervision and monitoring, separate website has also been designed by Quality Improvement Cell. The site will serve to converge between various district and state officials for grievance redressal. Under the Swat Swast Sarvatra initiative, all the facilities in open defecation free blocks are eligible to receive 10 lakh rupees for the improvement of healthcare facilities. The medical officer should also provide and organize a periodic training about the importance of wash and biomedical waste management to the staff of the center, including housekeeping and cleaning staff, ward boys, etc. The medical officer should implement and ensure the cleanliness before and after deliveries, keeping in mind the six important cleans. Clean hands, clean perineum, clean delivery surface, clean cord cutting, clean cord tying, and clean cord care. Post the delivery, it's the medical officer's responsibility to ensure the safe and clean conditions of the maternal and neonatal ward.
The medical officer should also guide the staff on the importance of hand washing before and after touching patients in order to ensure a safe and clean practice around and across the hospital. To ensure the safe and clean conditions of the hospital with a proper waste disposal system and clean floors with proper mixing of hypochlorite with water to ensure a safe and infection free environment for the patients. Along with this, ensure the safe condition of drinking water and hand washing stations. To acknowledge and reward the remarkable efforts and work of the medical officers, the government awards their contribution through the Kayakalp Award Scheme, where the top two ranked district hospitals receive an award for excellence on the pretext of cleanliness standards. Making the staff work harder towards ensuring a clean environment of the hospital. Making the efforts put in by the medical officer charge up even more. Resulting in changing the meaning of hospitals back to the place where safety is the key to a good and healthy life.